Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Scotland has a massive problem in education, generally, but in particular, it's got a problem with STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It can't get the teachers. The teachers, therefore, aren't teaching the pupils, and therefore you're gonna lose out in 10 to 15 years time from all the future engineers and technicians that are needed to run a modern successful economy. Those who, those who want to go into these subjects will have to go south to England perhaps. They will not return. Scotland is causing its own brain drain. The SNP are doing this deliberately, simply because they cannot organise and run an efficient education system and it's not surprising they'd rather spend money on other things rather than pumping it into where it's needed and giving the children of Scotland a future. We'll take a look at this story to see why it's so bad, why there's no teachers, why they can't retain the teachers but we already know the answer but to see also the future ramifications of such a short-sighted and bad policy of allowing it to get this bad in the first place. Here goes. So Scottish education, there is a sharp declines in the numbers of maths and physics teachers and it raises huge concerns for the future. And now, ultimately maths and physics are at the basis of all modern technology. They are the two big things. Maths, primacy. Physics, very, very important no matter what it is even engineering you need physics maths um chip design you need physics and maths virtually everything virtually everything needs physics and maths because they are the underlying forces of nature without them you have nothing the world wouldn't exist without an understanding of these two things it is so important to everything that any country that fails to have sufficient maths and physicists is a country destined to fail. Uh, despite the SNP's promise to boost numbers of staff in classrooms, Scotland now has fewer maths and physics teachers than in 2007. In fact, it has fewer teachers than in 2007. It may be hard for those paying attention to the state of our public services not to become inured to regular statistics chronicling the latest stage of their decline. However, succumbing to the idea that things are only ever going to get worse or letting politicians get away with the bogus excuse that the situation is not as bad as somewhere else, a bit of what about -ery, or it's somebody else -ery, isn't it? Brexit, Westminster, aliens. What it is, is 17 years of SNP misrule. Uh, the situation is yeah, sorry. This, this is a meek, This represents a meek acceptance of defeat that will only add to our woes. According to new figures, there are now about a thousand fewer teachers in Scotland than there were in 2007, and falling. The number of vacancies is constantly increasing. People retire. People move away. People just get beaten out of the classrooms, and they're not going to come back, or they'll move to England so they can do the same job but for more money and less. You know, physical attacks. There are nearly 25% fewer computer studies teachers, 12% fewer maths teachers and 8% fewer physics teachers. All subjects that are important to modern day economy. Absolutely are. Without maths you're lost. Liberal Democrat MSP Willie Rennie rightly said that such subjects open the doors to industries of the future, adding that with so few teachers now specialising in them and no sign of action to encourage more teachers into the workforce, the SNP are creating a vicious cycle that diminishes the skills of future generations. But you can't help think that that is exactly what they want. They want an uneducated population, stupid people, ignorant people, people not able to question what's happening to them, people who lack the ability to foresee the direction of travel that this illiberal monotheistic belief system that is the cult of the SNP is taking them. They won't be able to stop it. They won't be able to question it. They won't even understand why it's happening to them. And it's deliberate. 
Uh, small wonder then that Scotland's performance in the recent uh, international PISA league tables showed a marked slump. Indeed, worse than some third world countries. That's how bad it's got. From one of the best in the world to third world education. Large falls in maths and science saw Scotland drop below the average of the OEC group of countries in those two subjects for the first time ever. Although they have been slumping for many years. Indeed, they were slumping so badly that uh, Sturgeon actually pulled out uh, of Scotland's publishing on many, many other different league tables around the world. The PISA ones they've got no control over because that's looking at direct figures. But they pulled out of everything where they had to supply the numbers because it was so embarrassing for them. In 2021, the SNP promised to recruit 3,500 extra teachers and classroom assistants. But the numbers have instead fallen since then, indicating incompetence or a lack of effort in finding ways to attract new teachers to the profession and retain existing staff. Problems faced by teachers kept on supposedly short-term contracts for far too long suggest bureaucracy and bad planning also played a part. You can only muck people about for so long. Particularly when technological developments are happening so quickly. Scotland needs highly motivated, enthusiastic teachers capable of taking on new challenges to ensure the future is bright for the next generations. Not overworked, stressed out and fed up staff whose minds are occupied by thoughts of a career change and then who are increasingly taxed out of existence. And that is what is happening. You've got high levels of in-classroom uh, attacks, physical and sexual. And at the moment that happens, a teacher must get up, go to the head teacher's office, explain what's happened and said they're going home. It's a health and safety issue and they will remain at home on full pay until that health and safety issue has been addressed. One of the problems you've got in Scotland is that head teachers are not allowed to exclude pupils. And so this teacher can just sit at home on full pay and I, I don't blame them. Health and safety issue, throw it back, it then becomes the council's problem, not the school's problem. It's the council that are ultimately the employer. They are the ones responsible for health and safety. <laughs> then they can do something about it. But you're not going to attract teachers into Scottish classrooms while there's a risk of physical attacks or sexual attacks. You're not going to encourage them in when the class sizes are growing constantly higher harder and where outside of the actual working day you're nine till three or whatever it is you've got to do seven hours of uh, overtime marking things not good and so no no wonder nobody wants to be a teacher in scotland it's thankless and then you've got the tax issue so it's also costly anyone who does qualify immediately runs south to england can't blame them i'll come up I think what is truly surprising isn't that there's a shortfall in teachers in Scotland. What's truly surprising is that there are any teachers in Scotland. Why would they do this job, this underpaid, overworked, stressed job where they put their lives on the line every day going into a classroom and then get taxed even more for the privilege and are seen as people who fail children? because not enough of them are passing the exams in schools that are falling down with no resources, with school books falling apart. It's not the teacher's fault. None of this is the teacher's fault. All of it, every single part of it is the fault of the SNP. But they'll just blame everyone else. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video and I'll speak to you later. Bye.